He's known much more for cold stares than warm welcomes. It's Kevin Owens. I'm sure KO is feeling lucky for the chance to redeem himself after losing focus the last time these two faced off. He must be absolutely salivating at the opportunity to expose the new title holder as nothing more than a paper champion. It's not every day you get a chance to rectify your mistakes this quickly. It's SmackDown's newest acquisition. You gotta give credit to SmackDown general manager The Miz for making sure the blue brand wasn't left without a champion after what happened at SummerSlam. Despite my feelings on the quality of said champion, yes, I agree. Thank you, Miz, for doing a wonderful job. Will the new champion's reign on SmackDown be short-lived? Or is this the start of a long and successful journey? Introducing the challenger from Marineville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! And his opponent from Madrid, Spain, weighing in at 163 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the unpredictable. Hoping that handoff to the referee won't be the last time he sees his championship. The most glorious title in the world of sports entertainment. The Miz is wasting no time with his new acquisition. We have a WWE Universal Championship match right here, right now, on SmackDown. I'm smelling a title change here. KO is a hard man to beat. He's even harder to beat twice. Not that he needs it with the title at stake, but Owens will definitely have some extra motivation after losing to the top. Elbow drop. Good Lord. The champ is willing to gamble big here, putting it all on the line to keep the title. Here we go. Delivers the elbow. Up the top. What's he gonna do? Soaring all the way. What impact. Attempting high risk move after high risk move and a breakneck paint. Oh, great. Our GM Miz is here to distract the dark horse. He's scouting his new champion. There's a difference. O'Connor Rowe going for the win. Others are dead. The champion into the cover for the title. Raising the arm before one. Looks like it's going to take much more here. 
Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Spiked. Up to the top rope now. Incoming. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Look at this beautiful Northern Lights suplex. The beginning of the end. He's going for it all. Launching. Diving foot stop to the chest. Delivers the knee drop. Took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot twice. Good defense. Kick. Devastating kick. No oh, double knees. Big forearm. Big blow could be felt throughout the arena. This is what you call high risk, high reward. Sky high. Diving foot stomp. Brutal. It's not looking good for Owens. Owens is getting shut down at every turn. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. And we just saw some serious offense. Drop kick hits hard, lands harder. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. He climbs into the ring. Overhand connects. Rolling elbow right on the mark. The challenge. From the top, diving foot stomp. Brutal. KO is getting knocked around a bit. Owens needs to find an opening. Great escape by Owens. And that failed to hit the mark. Lion diving foot stomp. Brutal. And now the pressure's mounting on him. Yeah, he has to pull out some form of offense here. What a knockout punch! Oh, oh man. Ooh, DDT delivered. Big time knee rocks his opponent. To the face. What a redirect. Looking for a high risk, high reward on the top. Whoa, what a landing! And after that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Pedal to the metal right now. And that was a well-executed attack. Owens running into some trouble. Owens just can't find any breathing room. Sit out of package power bomb. And that's why Owens feels he can stomp around here picking fights. He has an artery of maneuvers like that. Getting back into the ring. Kevin Owens clearly not afraid of a little fight. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Look out! Slingshot sent time. No sign of hesitation. And that risk gained big rewards. Far right to the jaw. The effects of this match are showing on the champ. 
And it's like KO only gets more aggressive as the fight goes on. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Able to evade. Right to the ribs. Ooh, stiff punch. He saw it coming. Able to avoid any harm there. Catches the kick. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Ooh. Pin attack for the championship. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. KO getting rolled up here. And that will do it. Another flash win for the WWE Universal Champion. Wait, what is Miz doing? Interception by the champion. Talk about a backfire. And now KO's begging for mercy. Come on, this is unnecessary. Chair to the gut. This is an all-out assault. Our GM Miz was the one who introduced the chair in the first place. Maybe he thought the champ needed to take a seat after a tiresome match. We don't know. So how do you explain this? Miz looks like a kid caught with his hand in the cookie jar with that table. So much for being an impartial observer. Run, Miz. Get out of there. Looks like the champion might take advantage of that table Miz set up. Another backfire for our GM. He better not go through with this. And down through the table. Yes. Kevin Owens is absolutely laid out. Miz tried to involve himself in this match and managed to hoist himself by his own petard. The WWE Universal Champion has come to SmackDown, and he's making a statement to Miz. KO in the entire WWE Universe. Yeah, we'll take a look in the Miz's eyes, Cole. That champion's gonna regret this. What the hell, Miz? Impartial observer? You were passing chairs, setting up tables. I'm surprised you didn't chuck a ladder at me for good measure. Turns out the situation called for a partial observer. It's what's best for the image of the brand. And that would be Kevin Owens? What does he have that I don't? KO's exciting, unpredictable. Yeah, he's a little rough around the edges, but Maurice has her stylist working on a makeover, and there's this amazing jacket being tailored. Look, the point is, KO has promised to be the Miz's undisputed WWE Universal Champion, and that's what matters. Believing a word KO tells you is your first mistake, and more importantly, I've beaten your poster boy, twice now. Beaten him with a chair, put him through a table. You mentioned a ladder earlier. Well, let's go there. At Clash at the Castle, you will put the WWE Universal title on the line against KO in a TLC match. Fine. I'm going to walk into that match with my title, and I'll walk out with it, too. No, no, no. 
you will not walk in with the WWE Universal title because it will be hanging high above the ring, right where it belongs, out of your reach. A lot's changed since the last time we spoke in an empty arena. Indeed. That night I gave you an opportunity, and you took full advantage. I guess. Most everyone in the WWE Universe thinks Roman Reigns won me the title, and KO only beat himself to get me there. There will always be doubters. Every WWE Universal Champion will be in the shadow of Roman Reigns in one way or another. At least until someone can break the record with the title. Well, that's pretty much an impossible goal. Perhaps. My point is that you should take it a step at a time. You'll be the dark horse until one day you turn around and someone calls you the favorite. I think that might be a ways off. I'll just have to keep winning. A dominant victory over Owens tonight will go a long way towards answering that question in SmackDown's locker room. If not, with its general manager. Miz can be a real tosser. <laughs> Quite right. But it seems to me that he has also given you an opportunity to prove he and the doubt was wrong. That's what being a champion is, huh? A constant battle to prove you deserve your spot at the top of the card. Indeed it is, my boy. Indeed it is. We're in for a brawl with Kevin Owens tonight. With KO, it's a brawl every night. Introducing the challenger from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! Throughout his career, KO has let it be known he will fight anyone, anywhere. Truly, Kevin Owens has no hint of fear in his being. Being a Grand Slam champion, you know Owens has accomplished it all, and he's still giving every match his all. Well, it's just the kind of guy KO is. It doesn't matter what he's accomplished in the past. It's all about his future. And there he is, the man who's blazing his trail through WWE. And introducing the champion from Madrid, Spain, weighing in at 163 pounds, he is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Unpredictable! Who is now etched in the annals of WWE. We might find out what happens when an underdog becomes overrated. It usually doesn't end well for them.
plus tables, ladders, and chairs. I'm no mathematician, but that adds up to a bad night for the champ. Both of these men will leave with bruises tonight, but only one will be leaving with that championship. we go. Yikes! That ladder really rung their bell. Hello, champ. I hope you'll forgive an old timer button in your business. But it seems you've got yourself an Irish storm brewing. Seamus has been telling everyone your reign is about finished.
Hey, Michael. It's fight night! You've obviously never, ever been in a fight. Please, never do that again, Saxton, for all of our sakes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland. Weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! The WWE Universe is finally giving Sheamus his just due. Has won nearly every major title has earned, every major accolade, but he still loves to fight. The look in his eyes says Sheamus is ready for another five-star brawl. You think this guy cares about ratings? Galloping into history, defying all odds. It's the Dark Horse. And his opponent from Madrid, Spain, weighing in at 163 pounds, the undisputed. WWE Universal Champion, the Unpredictable. Well, the way this guy stumbled into such good luck and the WWE Universal Championship, let's hope he doesn't stumble down the ramp while he's at it. His title win might have been fortunate, but the longer he holds it, the more you have to admit he's a worthy champ. I don't have to admit anything. To me, he's still got a lot to prove. For a superstar that always has something to prove, his next opportunity starts now. The anticipation is palpable as each competitor is already looking... for that perfect moment to unleash their devastating finishing moves. If I were in the Dark Horse's shoes, I'd be praying to avoid the bro kick from Sheamus. Well, if the champ is in that ring praying, he's quickly going to be prey and yesterday's news. Wow. Connecting on the DDT. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Here we go. Dummy foot stop. to the top rope. Blast off. Double stop. Consecutive high-risk maneuvers, and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. Taking flight. Oh Just putting their body in danger time and time again. Big kick. Connects on the kick. Ooh. Ah, caught on the chin. And that's a bold attack on Sheamus. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Absolutely spiked. DDT. Boom. Counters. This could be an opportunity. To the sky. What a forearm smash. And Sheamus can't seem to get out of harm's way. The power of Sheamus being suppressed. Control. Opportunity now for him to capture some momentum. Could be a chance for him to change the... Up into the torture rack. Oh! That's it. Calling it by knockout. Here is your winner. The Unpredictable. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion with another victory. Will you listen to the ovation from these ham and eggers? How can they love this guy so much? Sheamus can't be happy with this outcome. This is going to be eating at him for a while.
the seven foot three Nigerian giant, ready to steamroll the competition. They say seeing is believing, but seeing Omos is still unbelievable. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian giant, Omos! We are looking at a confident, angry, malicious Nigerian giant. It is scary how Omos only gets better and more dangerous with each match. Brute offense, scary athleticism, and even scarier mean streak. WWE, behold the Nigerian giant. And there is no turning back when facing Omos. It's the journeyman who's now on a journey to greatness. And his opponent from Madrid, Spain, weighing in at 163 pounds. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the Unpredictable. There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think that Dark Horse is nothing more than a forgettable donkey. Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron? The reins are off, and it is on. There's no title on the line, but take one look at the champ, and you know he's on his A game in this match. He seems confident and focused on snagging the win here. He certainly does seem to be taking this match very seriously. He wants to be seen as the title holder. You don't want to mess with him. And standing across the ring from him is the human Redwood Omos. Just a towering, terrifying marvel of a human being. All the raw power and athleticism you can imagine. Omos has all the potential in the world to become a major superstar. He sat under the learning tree of top talents and is now ready to stand out on his own. Omos able to counter. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Oh, wow. Backhand hits the target. Set bump for the oh. right leg sweep. Nicely done. Just crank in the head. That's got to hurt. Just cranking the head. Lands the knee drop. Ooh. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Staved off that attack. And he denies Omas. Oh, good night. Sorry. Strong Irish whip. Oh, God. man. Oh. oh, using the knee. Of he can do it here. Oh, come on. What is he thinking? You had him down where you wanted him.
And the pressure on Omos continues to mount. Omos has to weather a storm here. Snapmare could set something else up. Crank in the head. Hard right hand. What are we going to see here? Uh-oh. Spiking DDT. Left by the turnbuckles. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. Oh, no. I mean, this is a massive amount of humanity. Perched from the second rope, now up to the top rope. No way! And the official calls it. Clearly, they cannot fight any longer. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. A modern marvel not to be messed with. An absolute force of nature. The size of Omos must be seen to be believed. Looms over the entire ring and the locker room for that matter. Omos is just as powerful as he is towering. You're right about that one, Saxton. Omos truly is one guy you don't, under any circumstance, ever want to mess with. It's a superstar who couldn't be denied and now electrifies the WWE Universe.
Tyrion Giant Omas! Next. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Look out! Time to stop to the chest. Attempting high risk move after high risk move at a breakneck pace. Lift off. Oh, and a double foot stomp. You've got to be kidding me. Using your body as a missile over and over again. Oh, well, look out. Able to give him the slip. You can tell he's firing up. Ooh, harsh kick. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Oh, once again. Here is your winner. And Steve. WWE Universal Champion. The Champ, like Tony D'Angelo. is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 240 pounds. In at 240 pounds. And has continually grown his family.
dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Look at this, just what a barrage. Disrupt Tony's focus. Watch out! Timing foot stop to the chest. Tony timed that one. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Caught with a DDT. Climbing the turnbuckle now. Lift off. He's one step ahead there. DDT! Boom! And a kick! Oh! Strikes with a kick! Oh. Climbing up top, he's got big plans! From the top, diving foot stop to the chest! Top rope, putting it all on the line. Look out! Oh, a huge double stop in the core. D'Angelo looking powerless to every attack. Tony might be feeling a bit rattled. Watch out! Jumping, leaping attack. Takes another trip. He's going for the pin. This could be it. It's over. All in a night's nice work. Here is your winner. The Unpredictable! The Dark Horse is on a roll. For now, Saxton, the WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. I bet Tony D'Angelo will be giving his associates a real earful about this loss.
if it isn't the champ. This is a fun surprise. They didn't tell you I was coming? Huh. Anyway, just down to do the honors and cut the ribbon on the new Dark Horse ring. The what now? The ring you're naming after me. To inspire the recruits. To do what? <laughs> Get ridiculously swollen heads? I mean, why stop at a ring? Maybe we should rename WrestleMania Dark Horse's Wrestling Rodeo. Uh, okay. I think there's been a bit of a mix-up. Yeah. Last I checked, one lucky win doesn't make you wrestling royalty, even if it did happen in a title match. Lucky? You're saying I got lucky? I'm saying, you've spent the majority of your time here as a mid-tier superstar. I'm gonna base my opinion of you on that, not the five minutes you've been champion. No one's taken the title off me yet. between the parking lot and here? Wow, impressive. I'm not hiding from anybody. Maybe you should. Your luck could run out just as fast as Fortune smiled on you. I mean, no offense, but I'm training guys here who could give you a run for your money. Pick your best one and have him meet me in the ring. Sure. I just hope you can find it without your name being on it.
Hey! When did you get in? This morning. Now, care to explain why I just flew down to Florida to embarrass myself and convince a whole class of trainees that I have an ego bigger than your bosses? Uh, apparently, the WWE social media account got hacked and reached out to various superstars via DM, you being one of them. It's a massive disaster. We've all got to start using this two-factor authentication stuff. There's an app and a little dongle thing I've got to plug into my computer. I have to change my password now because Troy Demand 1996 doesn't have symbols in it or something. And you have a champion who got embarrassed by fake messages, remember? How could I forget? You're the one who got us into this whole mess. You're blaming me for this? No, but kind of. I mean, do you give money to every Nigerian prince who slides into your DMs? You should have smelled something fishy there. And now everybody in the company, including me, has to go through all this hassle. The messages came from the official WWE account. Yeah. And it's a good thing they didn't ask you to pay for your travel by sending in random gift cards. Look, you're not the first wrestler to do something remarkably stupid. But when Seth Rollins got himself sprayed in the face with green slime, it really only affected him and a couple people in janitorial. You basically sprayed the entire company in the face with green slime. So don't be surprised if you're not everyone's favorite champion right now. Great. Thanks, Troy. You're welcome. And before you leave today, make sure to pick up that dongle. The Irish Ace, ready for a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day. From Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. Trained by Finn Balor, inherited that same killer instinct. And McDonough's absolutely not here to make friends. He's here just to fight and win. I don't think JD could make a friend even if he tried. Well, if JD's the Irish ace, I guess that makes you the Joker, Saxton. Or maybe that rules card that everyone just throws out. It's the wolf followed a dusty trail from the
where they start their career. Match after match, the Dark Horse is turning doubters into believers. The doubts are probably the very thing that fueled him. He really should be thanking those of us who didn't have his back. The champ's next challenge starts now. There is no title, but a lot of pride on the line as the Dark Horse looks for redemption tonight against digital trickster J.D. McDonough. McDonough doesn't seem like he knows how to set the clock on his microwave, let alone pull off a sophisticated internet scam. It's not hard to send a DM, but it really shouldn't be that easy to fall for one either. The Dark Horse better hope he can do something in the ring to make us forget his stupidity outside of it. Ooh. Oh, man. He had it scouted. Launching, diving, forearm, smash. Oh, ouch. Going up top. Here we go. Diving foot stop to the chest. Butterflies the arms. Nice butterfly suplex. If this lands, it might be all over. Samoan driver. Looked like JD's focus got rattled there. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Coming back in the ring. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top! Good Lord! Taking flight! Took a leap of faith and connected perfect. This could be just what they needed. For a lot of WWE purists, SmackDown has traditionally been the quote-unquote wrestling show. Talk about devastation. He's looking a little now. Well, all things can. Well, 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 all hail the conquering hero. <sighs> Troy, what's got you so excited? Other than I finally got that promotion to producer, probably the fact that your stock is on the rise too. The response to your TLC match with KO was off the charts and you've been on a roll ever since. I know my boss Miz has been taking notice. Okay, so what do you and Miz have for me tonight? Network sweeps are coming up, so we need to pop a big rating. And with your newfound popularity around the office, Miz has something very special planned for his undisputed WWE Universal Champion. 
That is the kind of cryptic answer that makes me uneasy. And when I'm uneasy, I get on edge. And when I'm on edge, that makes me want to go out there and create some chaos. Do you want me to create some chaos, Troy? Yes! That's exactly the kind of programming we want during sweeps. So head out to the ring, and we'll get to see how your chaos and Mrs. Big Surprise play out. Troy? And I don't care what Miz has up his sleeve. I'm going to tell your boss exactly what I think of him, and his big plan for... Great! Sounds like rating. Trying to do things on his own. Come on, Miz. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, effective body blow. Well scattered reversal there. No signs of either combatant backing down. Ooh. Back and forth. Neither one giving up any ground. Just teeing off with that fight forever vibe. Each competitor showing they've done their homework and responds with a counter of their own. Ooh. Who will break first? That is the question. Exhaustion set it in, and neither one of them is letting up. He got whipped into that corner. Oh, what a kick! Vicious. He's absorbing some tough hits now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Heads out of the ring. What's next? <laughs> Driven into the barricade. And what's he looking for here? He's got one thing on his mind with that chair. It has nothing to do with lounging. With the Irish whip. Chain reverses and oh my goodness, did you hear the ring steps? They heard that in Syracuse. Stop trying to suck up the coal, Saxton. This has to stop. The WWE Universal Champion needs medical attention. No, not this. Not the choke slam on the steel steps. Straight to hell, champ. This is horrific. It serves him right. He said he was for whatever Miz had planned. I think he does. The big rain has his demented eyes set.
Uh... I know things started out rough between us going for the WWE Universal title. It was dog eat dog, but I get it, because it was just like that in the yard back when I was in the joint. I, uh, sure thing, man. Water under the bridge. This thing Miz has going on with you and Kane, it ain't right. But I think there might no way you can take care of that big red freak. I am definitely open to some advice. Especially since I hear Miz is going to announce a title match against Kane. Willing to listen, but not here. Miz has got stooges creeping everywhere. You want my help with Kane? Meet me out in the parking lot. I'll keep... Seems like you gotta make... Seems like you gotta make... I wasn't jumping you. You gotta jump the new fish into the gang. Maximum security? You were in jail for like a day. Don't worry about all that. All that matters now is we're brothers. Whatever. It's gonna take the same thing to take out a monster like Kane. Becoming his brother? I think he already has one. Nah. Prison rules. One of my boys he can get me a discount on a taser. A taser? That's right. Kane's gonna get got when he least expects it. I'm not so sure this is the way to go. Nah. We're brothers for life. Remember? I got you, dog. Prison rules! Wait, Dom. Seriously?
The following contest is a casket match and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Here comes the big red Hall of Famer. After rising from the ashes, Kane continues to live a tortured existence and is hungry for revenge. Pure demonic rage in his eyes. Beating off the infernal flames of hell. It's a superstar who couldn't be denied and now electrifies the WWE Universe. A once forgotten man who is now etched in the annals of WWE history. This is inspiration personified. Sure, but he'd better be careful or he might find out what happens when an underdog becomes overrated. It usually doesn't end well for them. The reins are off and it is on. Introducing the challenger from Parts Unknown, weighing in at 323 pounds, Kane! And his opponent from Madrid, Spain, weighing in at 163 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the unpredictable. There is no prize bigger in this industry. The owner of that title is the alpha of our sport. This is what it's all about tonight. The undisputed WWE there are Universal no Championship. Disqualifications or countouts. The only way to win is for a superstar to force their opponent inside of the casket. After closing the casket lid shut, the remaining superstar will be declared the winner. Now, let the match begin. No matter how many times I've seen a casket match, they still make me feel a little uneasy. Could you imagine being trapped in one of those? That's a natural reaction, Cole, but here's the freaky part. Kane sees that casket, and he gets excited. He loves it. The champ hasn't faced anything like this in his career. Is this the night his championship is put to rest? Moves outside. What's the plan here? He'll take things into the ring. Looking for a scoop slam. No, slips behind. Inverted DDT. Boom. Oh, what a kick. Oof. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Gets inside the ring. He's able to sidestep there. Brutal pooped. 
What devastation is Kane hatching? DDT! It doesn't get any more intimidating than the Big Red Monster. And he's able to fight Kane off. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Stiff elbow will break that up. The challenger's looking shaken. Implanted by the DDT. Just punishing their opponent. Looking for a scoop slam, but from behind, inverted DDT. That had to hurt. Irish whip attempt, but Kane won't budge. Choke slam coming. Look out. Straight to hell. I think the champion is out, guys. And now Kane looks to capitalize. He's going to open up that casket and bury the champion once and for all. Are we ready for SmackDown's Big Red Machine era? I know I am. Dominic Mysterio is in the casket? Mysterio just tased Kane. I can't believe this. Is this legal? There are no disqualifications in a casket match, Michael. See, I knew the champion was a cheat. I hate to agree with you, Corey, but this doesn't look good. Enlisting the help of Dirty Dom with a freaking taser. Well, now you see why Miz wants anybody but this guy to be WWE Universal Champ. Kane just sat up, shocked with a taser, and he sat right up. And Mysterio's caught. Kane's got the taser. Taser to Dominic. This is insane. That's enough already. The Universal Champion takes out Kane from behind. And after all that, we're back to square one. Except for Dom getting some high voltage. Well, at least he's still alive. This isn't a match anymore. It's a fight for survival. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, what a kick! match right now. The Big Red Monster showing weakness here. <laughs> Trying to close the lid. Try This is going to be tough. It's not over yet. They did it. They survived for now. They're going to be breathing a sigh of relief. Back in the ring now. He is efficient and dangerous with his offense thus far. Yeah, it looks like he's offloading all of his anger. The challenger is in some big trouble. Yeah, this is not good. You don't? Perched on the shoulders. No time to waste now. He's got to get him inside that casket as soon as possible. Placed in the corner. Oh, man, nasty kick. Strong oh. kick.
time clothesline. Good grief. Saw that one coming. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Counter after counter. Heads out and he has all the time he wants. A steel chair? Something we all know can be a devastating weapon. Devastating elbow. Returning to the ring now. See, he is feeling it now. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. Quick return to the ring. <laughs> Looking to vanquish the devil's favorite demon. Looking for a scoop slam, no, slips behind, inverted DDT. Vicious right forearm, kick, oh. Kane turns it around, crushing impact in the corner, and the big red machine taking it to another gear. Side slam, the champ taking their share of hits now. Trying to force the casket close to end this thing. There's no way they're going to prevent Doomsday here. The undisputed Universal Champion laid Cade to rest once and for all. I can't believe he defeated the Big Red Machine at his own game. What an incredible victory here tonight. Sure, but let's not gloss over the fact he cheated to do it. Come on, Corey. Whoa, wait. What's going on? It's Roman Reigns. Bravo. Congratulations. And I didn't even have to win it for you this time. Did you forget? You're only standing there because of me. The locker room hasn't forgotten. The WWE Universe hasn't. And they won't. You can hold my WWE Universal title for a year, two years. Why not three? It doesn't matter. You're just a tenant. I'm the landlord. You're holding something that doesn't belong to you because its owner has other interests. For now. Later, Chip.
Was that really necessary from Roman Reigns? I detected no lie. Roman Reigns somehow just made a huge win. Universal Champion feel like a loss. Taser? Seriously? What is this? 1998 WCW? You were the one who brought in the literal undead demon to fight me as a rating stunt. I think a little fighting fire with fire was justified. Well, it was embarrassing for the brand. Your big moment of triumph ended with Roman Reigns burying my champion deeper than you buried Kane. Then maybe Roman ought to come back and try his luck. I would love that. Roman is must-see. The only must-see thing about you is the target on your back. I'm the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Miz. There's always a target on my back. Yeah, there is. Everyone in that locker room is circling you like sharks because they can taste the blood in the water. Roman's right. You're just champion for now. I guess we'll find out, boss. See you next week. And after all was said and done, Becky Lynch won the WWE Women's Championship. The man is once again the man, and the WWE Universe could not be happier. The same can't be said on Raw, where the World Heavyweight Championship has been moving around like a hot potato. Well, if you want championship consistency, look no further than SmackDown. General Manager The Miz has been obsessed with dethroning the WWE Universal Champ, but the man many call the now become the workhorse, turning back every he defends the title against Drew McIntyre in a false count anywhere match at SummerSlam, he will have been champion for a full year. Speaking of championship streaks, Gunter will look to continue his amazing run as the longest running intercontinental champion of all time at SummerSlam when he defends his title. The Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, has arrived. And a fight is about to start. We have learned that wherever McIntyre goes, brutality follows. 
Right now, it is McIntyre who is leading the WWE Universe into battle. Given the chosen one, air breathing dragon. Yeah, the WWE to face with absolutely anyone. And there he is, the man. On the shoulders, boom! Feast your eyes. The champ will stay champ. The champion retains. Here is your winner, and still the undisputed WWE Universal.
you told me a year ago that you would still be WWE Universal Champion, I wouldn't have believed it. I am delighted to disappoint you. Am I disappointed? You're a draw. For some reason, people seem to like you. It's just that damn insistence on doing the exact opposite of everything I say that drives me nuts. I've never been great with authority. How long are we gonna keep doing this? I am the most must-see general manager in SmackDown's history. You're the WWE Universal Champion with all the momentum. So what if we work together instead of being at each other's throats? Because this right now, this feels like yet another trap you're trying to spring. I don't trust you. Call it a choice between the carrot and the stick. The carrot is, I make you into a cross-platform superstar like WWE has never seen. Of course, you'll need to have a bit of an attitude change and be willing to get your hands dirty. Okay, and what's the stick? The stick is, reject my offer, and if you think it's been a hard year, you can't even imagine what's coming next. After what I'll put you through, you will never escape Roman's shadow. Interesting. Maybe that's exactly what I'd do. Escape his shadow and yours, too. What the hell does that mean? What it means is I hear NXT is a really cool brand. Never been. Maybe I take the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, head down to NXT, and go after the title that Roman never won. What? You have a contract. You can't just walk off my show. I don't know. After this past year, I think I've shown I can do just about whatever I want. Fine. You have a choice to make. Work with me and have everything you've ever dreamed of. Or I make you regret ever becoming a WWE superstar. You know what, Miz? You're a devious SOB. And maybe that's a side of myself I need to tap into to get out of Roman's shadow. Let's do it. Yes! That is what I'm talking about! I knew you had ambition. We are going to rule the galaxy and everything beyond! If you say so. The point is, I have big plans for you. You're about to become a major crossover star. Tell me something. Do you like video games? <laughs> 